right, so the first thing that we're going to need to do is we're going to need to calculate that derivative. So we're going to do dbx of the left-hand side, x squared plus 4y squared. And then we're going to take that derivative of that right-hand side, which is the 5. Okay, now we'll have to remember that we are going to be doing implicit differentiation here. So here we're going to have just a plain 2x. When I take the derivative here, I'm going to have an 8 y to the first, all right, and then we've got to remember our chain, which is y prime. Taking the derivative of 5 there is going to be a 0. I want to go ahead and solve this all the way down for y prime, so I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides, so 8y y prime is equal to a negative 2x. I'm going to divide both sides of the equation by that 8y, so y prime is equal to a negative 2x over an 8y. We can't go ahead and reduce that. We can make that a negative x over a 4y. All right, now that is the derivative at any point along the curve. I want the derivative at the point 1, negative 1. So the derivative at the point 1, negative 1 means I'm going to plug in 1 for x and a negative 1 in for my y. So we'll have a negative 1 there on top and then a 4 plugging in that negative 1. Negative divided by negative is going to be a positive. It's going to give me a positive one-fourth for my slope. All right, now using that slope and the point at where I want the tangent line to be, my equation of my tangent line using point slope form is going to be y plus 1 equals one-fourth times the quantity x minus 1. So pretty straightforward Calc 1 question there finding that equation of that tangent line to an ellipse. Definitely, thanks for watching. If the videos are helping, please share with your friends so they can benefit too. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.